Hi, my name is Damien Flynn, Infrastructure Architect and MVP for System Center Cloud and Data Center. In this series of recordings, we're going to look at building the foundations for a System Center 2012 lab environment. To get started, I've already put in place a set of lab domain services, which include our domain controller, an exchange server, a web server, and a Windows Update server. All of these modules I have built as virtual machines on top of a single Hyper-V server which also doubles as my file and my print servers. The domain controller itself runs the Active Directory, certificate servers and of course the obligatory DHCP and DNS, while my Exchange server is responsible for all my mailboxes and mail flows built on Exchange 2010 with Service Pack 2. The IIS server is currently empty, which we will extend later on, and I also have put into place a Windows Update server to keep the fabric in place and up to spec. All of these act as a foundation for our System Center 2012 stack and all of the primary modules included in this fantastic new suite of software. We'll focus over the course on how to install and connect each of these different modules together as well as deploy their agents. First stop will be with the SQL Server which will act as the host for all of the databases and of course our SharePoint Server which will present the front end for our users including dashboards and request portals. The environment itself will be managed to Virtual Machine Manager focusing on our Hyper-V servers and for our users utilizing the clouds, we're going to introduce App Controller for cloud uh, virtual machine and service requests. Managing and monitoring will be added to our foundation through the use of Operations Manager 2012, along with its brand new integration services into Virtual Machine Manager and App Controller, as well as the SQL reporting services that is offered to Operations Manager. For automation, Orchestrator 2012, another new member of the System Center 2012 suite, will be integrated along with Service Manager 2012 and its connectors for both Operations Manager, Virtual Machine Manager and of course Orchestrator. The Data Warehousing and CMDB services will also be fully enabled. For end user support, Configuration Manager with its new central site role as well as its primary site role and even its endpoint protection services will add as part of our foundation layers. Well, there you have it. All of the different components which create and form System Center 2012. Over the next number of videos we're going to install, configure and deploy. Get your lab started now. Install your Active Directory domain controllers, exchange and support services as we've covered in the beginning of this recording and do check back as we go through the rest of the series installing, configuring and building the foundation for the private cloud. Thank you.